love a versatile recipe. And today I am making my curried pot pie with a biscuit topping that can be made two ways, chicken or vegetarian. They, I know, I'm very excited about it. They both start with sauteed vegetables. So I've got an onion in this pan along with two carrots and two stalks of celery, just sauteing in a good old tablespoon of butter. And honestly, nothing smells better than this right now. It is so delicious. If you're starting dinner with that, you're starting dinner right, let me tell you. But I wanna add in some garlic into there. So I've got two cloves of garlic right here. I'm just gonna thinly slice those. So anytime I'm using garlic and I want like a nice soft garlic flavor, I like to actually slice it as opposed to mincing it. Cause garlic's one of those weird things that the more you cut it, the more flavor it has. It's got these little like flavonoids in it that if you like bust them up a bit, they get a little stronger and more potent. So if you want more soft garlic flavor, you actually want like bigger hunks of garlic in your food. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but it works, trust me. So I've got those two cloves of garlic nice and chopped up. And I'm gonna add those on into that pan, which immediately starts smelling like delicious garlic, which is always a good thing. So give that a bit of a stir. Oh my gosh, what a delight. Oh, see, now I'm making a mess. It's a messy day in this kitchen today, let me tell you. Now, to start building on even more flavor into this pot pie base, I wanna add in, in my opinion, a classic ingredient, and that is one tablespoon of curry powder. I don't know if anybody else's mom got uh, most of her recipes off the back of a soup can, <laughs> but do you remember that like curried chicken casserole? I loved that, it was so good. It was one of my faves as a kid. So this is a bit of a nod to that. So just a tablespoon of curry powder straight into that pan. That's gonna start toasting up and smelling amazing pretty much immediately. Oh my gosh, so good, a little sweet. Now into there, I'm also gonna add in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And what this flour is gonna do is it's gonna make a roux. And a roux is basically fat and flour mixed together and it's used to thicken up some sort of stock or broth or cream or something. And that's gonna give you a nice kind of gravy-like consistency. So give that a little bit of a mix just to stir everything in. And again, we have that butter in there from earlier. So that one tablespoon of butter with those two tablespoons of flour, that's made up like a little bit of a roux. Just let that toast for a few seconds. And now I'm gonna add in the liquid. So since I'm gonna do a vegetarian version of this pie, I'm gonna do two and a half cups of vegetable broth. But if you're doing the chicken version, feel free to use chicken broth. Whatever you have on hand is perfect. So about two and a half cups of that go in. Just giving it a stir every once in a while. And almost immediately you can see that flour kind of thickening up that broth a bit. I know, I'm honestly, I'm so amped about this. It is so good and delicious. Now, whenever you're thickening something with a roux, you do need to bring it up to a simmer. Because what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow those little bits of flour to hydrate and thicken up that whole delicious stew. And then you end up with something that looks very cooked and very delicious and looks like this. You've got all of that amazing liquid. It's cooked up and thickened. It's really nice and brown and flavorful and delicious. But we wanna add in a little bit of brightness and green. So I'm gonna toss in about a cup of frozen peas, which are a classic in any pot pie in my opinion. But at this point, you could also add in really any vegetables you've got hanging around. You got leftover broccoli from last night's dinner, pop it in. You got a zucchini that somehow is still growing in your garden and you're like, why is there still zucchini? Cook that up in here too, that would be delicious as well. Now for a little bit of creaminess, I wanna add in a bit of sour cream. You could also use in some cream, that would be great just to splash. But a few tablespoons of this just cuts through everything, brings a bit of creaminess in, which is amazing. Now it's not 100% necessary, you don't have to put the creaminess in, but like, why wouldn't ya? Am I right? Yeah. It's cozy season, and cozy season to me means lots of creamy things. A lot of good amount of fat and deliciousness. All right, now to brighten this up even more, I'm gonna add in the juice of about half of a lemon. Ooh, add that on in. Dun 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 dun. That looks amazing. Now, for the protein, you could add in something if you're going for the meaty version, like a little bit of like rotisserie chicken that you get at the grocery store, and maybe some bacon. Not too shabby, I'm not mad at that. But I'm gonna go in with a can of white beans. You could even do all of this together and have like a super protein packed stew, that'd be great. Add those on in, give that a stir. That is looking amazing. 
So now we need to make the topping for the pot pie because my personal favorite part of a pot pie is the fact that it gets to wear a hat. It always has to have a little hat on, a little, a little starchy deliciousness. So as opposed to doing something like puff pastry, I'm gonna do little drop biscuits. Super simple and really easy. I need one cup of all-purpose flour. And then for a little bit of lightness in this recipe, I want two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Now that's a lot of baking powder, but that's gonna give us nice fluffy and delicious biscuits. So add that on in. Half a teaspoon of salt for a little bit of seasoning. And then to give these kind of the vibe of like your favorite seafood restaurant biscuits, if you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> just a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder is perfect. So just give that a mix up. And then I'm just gonna snap in three tablespoons of butter. Today, I am making curried pot pie two different ways. You can use chicken and bacon, which would obviously be delicious, but I went with white kidney beans for a vegetarian option. But my very favorite part of any pot pie is the topping. That little bit of carb on top, what? a delight. So I'm just finishing up my drop biscuits to put on top of here. So I've got that mixture with that all-purpose flour, a little bit of garlic powder for some flavor, and then that baking powder for a bit of rise. And into there, just to like amp these up a little further, make them a bit more cozy, I wanna add in some grated cheddar cheese. So I've got half a cup of grated cheddar cheese here. Again, for all those eagle eye seafood restaurant loving fans. <laughs> Makes them a little more like those biscuits again, too. All right, give that a mix up. And now I wanna add in the liquid for these biscuits. So I'm gonna make this into like a little bit of a well. And anytime I'm making biscuits or pie dough or anything like that, I like to kind of make the dry ingredients into a bowl themselves because it makes mixing the liquid in a lot easier and then you don't over mix things. And for the liquid for this recipe, I'm gonna use buttermilk. I want anywhere from half a cup to three quarters of a cup because biscuits are what I like to call a grandma recipe. And a grandma recipe is when we are just like, make it till it looks right. You know what I mean? When you're like, Grandma, how do you make this very specific thing that I would like to be able to make forever and ever? And she's like, do it till it looks good. And you're like, okay, thank you, amazing. Now, if you don't have buttermilk at home, you can use just regular milk with a little bit of lemon juice or vinegar in it. What that does is it gives a little bit of acidity into the milk, and that's what you want, because that reacts with that little bit of baking powder. It gives a little bit, ooh, ooh, little bit of lift. Way too excited about buttermilk. It's one of my favorite ingredients. Okay, I'm gonna add that on into the mix and give that a stir. I'm starting with half a cup just to see how this goes. Because depending on the weather, if it's a little dry out, sometimes you need a bit more. I can already tell you I'm gonna need more. Basically, you're looking for none of this little dusty flour to be left in the bowl. So I'm just gonna add a titch more of that buttermilk. Give that a mix up. And this isn't a biscuit that we're gonna turn out and fold into layers. This is a drop biscuit. So as soon as this comes together into kind of like a shaggy little dough like this, we are done. The way that we get these biscuits on top of this delicious stew is using a good friend two spoons and we just drop it on there. So as opposed to doing this like a classic pot pie where there's a full cap on, this is kind of more of a cobbler. And a cobbler is known as a cobbler because the little biscuits on top look like cobblestones. Ah, food words, uh, we're learning. Oh my gosh, you smell that garlic powder in there, that cheese looks amazing. You can also already see that baking powder starting to work because of that bit of acidity in that buttermilk. All right, that looks perfect. Total dream. I'm gonna pop that into my 400 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes, whether you're making the meaty version or the veg version. And you end up with a little something that looks, oh my gosh, arguably too good, like this. Look at that beautiful pot pie. Like a total dream. It is so tasty and wonderful. Those little biscuits have cooked up absolutely beautifully. I'm just gonna spoon some of that out. That crust on top is nice and crispy. The stew underneath is just a little tight, but that gravy is so good and wonderful. I'm gonna give that a taste-a-roo and see how this goes. Oh my gosh, guys, I love biscuits. 
<laughs> Truly, this is the best day ever. Mm. Oh my God. You need to make this, whether you do it with chicken and bacon like this one here, or with those beans, it is a total showstopper and complete comfort food. We've got hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.